okay tag base access control now you know we have seen that you know there are n number of resources which gets created okay maybe when say you are creating a network then it is going to create uh, the subnets say default network i am creating it it is going to create so it is going to create the vcn it is going to create the subnets it is going to create uh, the dhcp it is going to create uh, the security list and the rules in that the internet gateway the nat gateway so multiple things it is going to create okay now when you are uh, you know deploying your instances or so there will be many resources which it is going to create and it is it will be difficult for anyone to track those resources okay uh, so in, the, in those cases tags plays an important role where you can add your own metadata information to that okay maybe i am managing three departments okay and i have created say 30 30 resources 30 instances now to which department it belongs okay how i will be able to manage it or how i am going to create that way okay that that plays an important role so there is like like what you can do is if some mechanism you can implement it that whenever the resource get created and if you have not put any kind of tag there then you it will not allow the resource to get created okay so mandatory you have to put the tag and then create the resource otherwise you will not be able to create the resource at all so dev test or say prod non prod something whatever it is for whatever department you are creating it or for whatever organization you are creating it there should be some mandatory thing where you are going to force to put the tag okay and that is where it is going to organize your all the instances easily so as an administrator you you can basically do that okay so there is a concept of tag default okay so in that whenever you create resource without tag you will not be able to free form tag so here the left hand side which you are seeing is the free form tag which doesn't have much of the uh, uh you know features there but uh, you know it is like a user um, can tag the resource while creating it and which basically it doesn't have any structure or anything so they are just uh, you know it has got the key and the value only so that is just for the personal purpose you you can just tag it but there are another tag which has called define tags okay and these defined tags are having more features and it is all managed by the tag administrator who basically creates and manage all these uh, tags when you are creating the resource and then you it is it will allow you like you know it will be having a namespace and then the key and the value so you can see here like uh, namespace is like environment and sorry the namespace is the operations and the environment and then the the project okay so it will be something like operations dot uh, operations dot environment is equal to production so it has got a namespace key and the value so that completely defines your defined tags right so here if you see for each and every resource you create suppose here it is whatever resource you you are creating it at the end when you go to the advanced option oops okay so here if you see the free form tag is always there okay you, you can just go ahead and create it like this is my test environment and uh, you know the or say uh, yeah and say you know kubernetes something like that but here when i scroll it down uh, you know some of the tags uh, you know um, are already created these are like all the defined tags which we have defined it 
see a customer customer is oracle and tag value is test dev or prod so this a tag administrator has created it and you can use those things so here architecture center devops release and a release version here so another release you can add those uh, you know uh, releases in the tag one and whenever these instances are created you can put the tag there okay apart from that you can also push the user that without creating without uh, you know uh, not putting the tag or if you have uh, miss the tag your instance creation will not be allowed it will fail so you have to put the tag and then only you are going to allow so that is a tag default okay i can show it from here governance yeah so from here if you see the tag namespace and all those you can manage it okay like here i have created the customer tag space okay and i have added the key here key definition i have added it so my customer namespace is i have added oracle and oracle i have just defined the tags here which you are seeing it okay if you want you can add more values here say stage and save it so these are like all my control where uh, you know the tags are i i can create the tags and can uh, work on it so free form tag as i mentioned that okay you can that is for the personal purpose okay like you for for yourself it is not going to give you more features or more value addition define tags are the one which at the organization level will give you more uh more uh, you know fee more, more value addition and with that you will be able to say perform all the things like suppose if i have added test environment and i want to delete all the resources of the test environment i can use tag and can delete it so even like over the command line as well i can say that okay whatever tags i want to you know have got uh, the test tag that that should get updated or get removed or get retire or whatever uh, you know action you wanted you you can perform those things or if you just want to check that okay what all resources the test has then with that also you can check and can perform the action accordingly yeah so these are like the defined tags here so tag base access control so you 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 can perform basically uh, you know actions there for for managing it gives you more flexibility like what kind of access control you want to have it and here you can basically have control uh, uh, you know the access control you can uh, go with three ways so tag based access control is the you know condition plus set of tag variables and you can access control by okay you you can control access based on the value of the tag applied to the either you have applied to the groups okay or the users group of users basically or the dynamic groups of instances say you know i have got and completely all the instances are there which are basically belonging to one dynamic group don't worry about the dynamic group as of now okay we are going to see we have seen the static group till now the group which we have created but there is a concept of dynamic group as well uh, which is at the run time the number of resources get uh, reduced or maybe increase in that okay so that is a dynamic group and you can even uh, put these uh, control basically based on the compartment so you can see here uh, the requesting resources uh, uh, say a group dynamic group or the compartment or the target of the resources uh, your resources or the compartment so something like this you will be you know you can see the policies here allow any group to manage instance in the compartment hr where request so this is all the requesting resource where the principal group request principal group 
tag operation, whatever tag you have put it is equal to prod. Okay, or say a dynamic group or say a compartment. And this is where the target of the resource, like you want all the groups of group A to manage all the resources in the compartment HR where target dot resource dot tag dot operation project is equal to prod. So with that, I'm going to give access to all the resources, whichever resources they are having the tag prod. I'm just giving the access to this group and we'll add the users in that. Okay, or, or suppose, you know, a prod and the non prod, if you know that kind of tag policies you have assigned it, whoever is the new user or new DBA or a new administrator who has joined your company or team, just allow him to give all the, you know, non prod access, restrict it at the prod access. Okay, unless and until um, a person is, uh, you know, get uh, familiar with the environment and all you are just going to give the non prod access and then later once the person is comfortable then you give them prod access or dev test like whatever strategy you have defined it you, you can put the tag base access control there and can uh, define it there but to have the tag base access control you need to basically have the tagging policy okay you need to make sure that or whatever resources you are creating it that has got the tags in it okay so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if in case you have some doubts and queries then we have something really special for you we have our free class on how to become oracle cloud architect for certification and higher paying jobs so in this interactive session we will be discussing about why you must learn oracle cloud OSA architecture, network connectivity and core services, our 8-week roadmap plus 30 plus hands-on labs to go from complete beginner to the expert level. So all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash OCI02. You'll be seeing this kind of page. Just click on book your free seat now. Select your event date, add your name, your email address, your phone number and click on yes, save my seat. Moving ahead, you'll be seeing this kind of link. All you have to do is just save this link, add it to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, keep learning.